Thanks for watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this video is going to be on the surface flatten command inside of 2016. Now, inside of 2015, they added the ability to flatten complex surfaces. However, there were some limitations with not being able to do it with holes in the surface or other shapes that are cut out of the surface. Now, inside of 2016, we can flatten complex surfaces that have holes that are in them or other shapes cut out of them. So by picking the surfaces in a vertex, it'll go ahead and flatten them. And you can see, if I tried to wrap this around this headrest shape, it might be a little difficult as far as the stretch and the compression of this material. New inside of 2016 is the ability to look at the deform plot live on this as you design. As you can see, we've got 41% compression going all the way around the surface and some high stretch and compression going all the way around the surface, I should say. And uh, so we want to go in there and actually fix that. So I can go in with the 2016 and edit this feature. And now we have a new cut relief option inside the surfacing. So with my cut relief option enabled, I can go in there and use a split line that I wanted to use to cut that fabric right down the center there where it would be sewed. And you can see it goes ahead and now flattens it from that cut line. You can see although my stretch is still rather high, it's in very little areas and my compression's a lot lower. So I might want to put another relief cut in this but this will probably wrap around these surfaces rather nicely. So, some new functionality inside of 2016. I hope you enjoyed watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer.